Hey guys, this is Left Technical, and I'm going to talk about recursive functions. Okay, so what a recursive function is, is a function that calls itself, and usually does, uh, or usually illustrates a looping mechanism. Now, this looping mechanism uh, is a lot different than like a for loop or a while loop. In those kind of loops, uh, you usually use an iterative approach in this kind of loop you're calling the functions calling itself and passing in data and usually that data that it's passing in is data that has already that's already in the current function that has been modified so it's not quite just data plus one even though that's what I have down here it's usually something a lot different like a directory and uh, you'll f you'll usually find recursion done in um, walking through directories because uh, the data uh, it's just the most effective way of doing it. It's kind of hard to explain, but yeah, you'd have to use this a bit and come across functions and whatnot that use recursion to actually understand recursion. So what I have here is um, in my constructor I'm calling this method that adds uh, the next character to the text box. And what the next character is, is this index plus one. So I'm going to pass in one and then I'm going to convert from uh, UTF-32 value. So I'm going to convert this number to a character and then I am going to check to see if my index is greater than 256 and if it is then just return and that's going to break the recursion. Um, I want to do this because I'm only displaying the two, first 256 uh, character values in a standard character set. Um, actually I think I'm I think the character structure encompasses extended characters I'm not so sure but uh, yeah, so at the last line of code here, if this code is reached, we are going to add one to the index, the character index, and call this function again. And the plus one makes sure that we move on to the next data, the next character in the uh, index. So when I boot, the, boot up the application, you'll see that 256 characters have been displayed in the text box because at the first line of code I um, added these characters to the string, the text box string. We can change this uh, boundary here, change it to about a thousand, and it will display the first thousand um, characters in in the uh, UTF, some sort of whatever character set I'm using. So yeah, that's recursion for you. This is Left Technical. See you later.